everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make pancetta and this is going to be the tessa which is, means flat. So this pancetta is going to end up being just flat like this, dry, cured. There's the other one which I've made in my other video which is called arrotolata and that one ends up looking like that and that's rolled up, okay? So when you roll it up, it'll end up looking just like that. When it's done, beauty. And then the other one is capota, and that one is capata, which is flat and then weight on top. So you put as much weight as you can and you compress it, so it's compressed, okay? But the one we're gonna do today is tessa, which is the flat one. You wanna make sure that you're having a nice cut on all your ends, okay? Because the main part that when it is dry, it's gonna be like this part, okay? So you're gonna be able to cut it and you're gonna cut it this way, all right, and thin. Uh, usually you can cut them in pieces, so about that far and that far when you're going to, so you can make three out of this piece here, okay? I'm leaving the skin on this one. Uh, a lot of people ask, do we leave the skins on and that? Yes, you do. When you make it a rotolata, no, you take the skin off. You could leave it on, but I preferably not, not to. This is the old way that I'm going to teach you. The way that my parents and my grandfathers and my grandfather, my, uh, uh, the, the, back in the old country, they did it this way. They never had all these measuring things that they could check how much humidity, how much this, how much that. It's very, very simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a beautiful piece of pork belly, okay? Uh, I've got a couple of them here today. Try to get them with, you know, when you do go, there's a lot of them that will have too much fat on the on the outsides. You want to get it just enough fat that you're going to have the fat, but you don't want too much or else it's going to be all fat. You want some meat in there also, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do, you're going to need is you're going to need salt. If you would like paprika for the color, I give it paprika. Black pepper chili pepper and chili powder, okay? Uh, very simple uh, to do. We're just going to throw it on. We're going to, uh, to, 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 to put the mixtures on. And once we do that, then we're going to dry it and we're going to let it not actually dry, but we're going to let it sit in a pan for about six days. So almost all the moisture seeps out. And then once we do that, then we will do the second process which is the three week drying period but for now what we'll do is we're just going to salt it very quickly simple don't be cheap on the salt because you have to have a lot of salt on it okay and what we'll do i'm going to put it actually on the pan that it's going to be sleeping on for five six days okay so we're going to salt that all both sides, even with the skin. There's your skin there. You want to salt all, and you want to make sure that you're getting enough salt on it, okay? And the salt is what's going to be doing our curing. And it doesn't have to be special salt uh, or any of that. Normal table salt works just fine. You don't need any curing salts. Okay, and you want to make sure that you get your ends all done. Enough salt on them all. Just spread it all nicely around, like so. Okay. All right. Next, you're going to put the black pepper. Again, don't be cheap on the black pepper. And remember, the black pepper is like a, a preservative that it will not make it mold. So it keeps mold away. So if you always remember in any of the meats that you do, if you're gonna be doing drying, make sure that you put a lot of black pepper and that you surround it. Okay, just coat it all. And then you won't have any of the mold. A little bit of mold is okay. Again, don't be cheap on it. 
Okay? Now, once we have all that accomplished, next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it some color. Okay? So our color is going to be our paprika. It gives it a bit of flavor, but it also gives that nice, real nice color to it. And we're going to throw that on here like that. See how that looks so pretty already? Look at that. Isn't that nice? So we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do the same. And it's not spicy, so you don't need to worry. You go, oh my God, he's putting a lot of spice on there. Actually, wait till we get to the chili pepper. Then we'll... That's a different story. Okay, so get it all over nicely in there. Like so, okay, once we're done that, then we're going to throw in our chili powder, okay? Again, depending on how hot you want it, you could leave this out. You don't need to put the chili powder if you don't want it, okay? That's all depending on how hot you want it. But we like it spicy, so we do it the Sicilian style. There. We're going to do this here, flip it over, do the same on your outside of it. Use your nice chili powder, okay? Try to get everything on there, okay? And last but not least, we're going to put our chilies, our chili, uh, crushed chilies, okay? So you put that on it. So, same thing here, and it's pretty much the same procedure as I did with my first video on the, uh, on the pancetta rotolata. Uh, remember, go to the video, you can check that one out, That's, that will give you a real nice pancetta too. And uh, so, it's pretty much the same procedure in the beginning, as now we're going to take it, and we're going to put another piece of parchment paper. So you got one on top, one on the bottom, like that. And then we're going to grab another piece to put like this, and we're gonna put weight on it, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge now and let it sit for about five, six days. You're gonna notice that all the water will seep out of it. And that's exactly what we want to happen. So put weight on it in the fridge for six days, and then We'll come back and we'll show you the next step. Okay, so six days have passed. Let's look what we got here. I've got one on top of the other to put weight, and then I had weight on top of them. Had them in the fridge, let them sit for six days, and look what we have here now. You can see how it's changed color, and it's now not solid, but it's a tight piece. See that? So very nice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to rinse it off, uh, just a quick rinse, and then we're going to give it a wine bath. So I'll see you right after the rinse. Okay, so now I've, uh, I've rinsed them off. So we got that look to it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them both inside the little bathtub here little plastic container. We've got two real nice, beautiful pieces. See how that's changed color already? Isn't that nice? So what we're gonna do is, uh, you can use white wine or, or red, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to give it a bath now. And then we're gonna wipe it down. Just pack dry them, okay? over here and we're just gonna wet them down okay. 
and you can see how how the meat has now toughened out okay it's almost like a rubbery compared to what it was so we know that we have a, a real good cure and another thing you'll notice when you do have it in your pans uh, in the fridge you'll notice that the first couple of days a lot of water will leak out of them that's normal don't you don't need to, to drain the water because it will soak it right back in again and it just dries out on its own so that's pretty much that okay so we've given it a nice wine bath and then what we're gonna do our next step is we're just gonna pat dry them the wine do the wine is another preservative like I said for like just like the black pepper look at that see how that's turned already okay so that's one and here's the second uh, I do uh, a lot of hunting people ask do you hunt that yep I also have a video out there of one time they were out hunting, my buddies, and uh, caught a deer by hand. You gotta check that video out, it's pretty cool. It's called uh, How to Catch a Deer with Your right, with your Hands. Um, that's pretty cool, but you can't, unfortunately you cannot make uh, capigol or any of that stuff with, with deer meat. It's just way too, uh, way too lean. Okay, so now what we're gonna do now that we have them both here, bring them out here again, nicely dried. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our hole for hanging. Okay, so those are ready, prepared for hanging. So find your toughest spot that it's not going to uh, let go. So we're going to make a hole right about there. And I use these hooks these hooks are awesome whether you're gonna uh, hang sausage or hang anything that you you want to hang your prosciutto or your uh, uh, capicolo or your uh, uh, prosciuttini any of this stuff or your any of this stuff these are perfect and what they are is you go in the painting department in uh, in Lowe's or Home Depot and you just go in there there's I think a pack of five or six and they're for like four dollars through five dollars but they're strong and they're really really good for hanging I guess they use them for paint cans but they work great look at that okay so just make yourself a hole on each end on where you're gonna be hanging it okay so that's what you're gonna be left with when you hang so now next thing we're gonna do we're just about there it's very very simple again we're gonna throw now the black pepper pepper it right up okay now the other pepper that we had even if you wash it off it still has seeped into the the meat so it's still going to be nice and uh, spicy and just do all like that get that black pepper all on it get it on the sides Look at that, isn't that nice? Just gorgeous. Colors are ready there. You see how simple it is? It's, you know, and, a, and just a small little piece, you know, probably about like that long of a piece 
would probably cost you about, you know, 15, 20 bucks at the store. So both of these pieces, this, these, they cost me about $21 each. Um, and you know, you want to get a piece of pancetta like that, you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of dollars. All right. So then we'll put in a little bit of the, uh, chili pepper and finish it off with. And I usually just put it on the, more on the inside than I do the outside skin. Okay, so now we have it all ready and uh, all we gotta do is we're gonna hang it for six weeks, uh, six, uh, three weeks. Um, make sure that you've got it in a cool place. You could hang it in your fridge, but if you've got, like if it's still in the winter time and you got a cool garage, no colder than, than uh, you know, if it gets into minus under zero degrees Celsius, not good. You wanna stay about one, two, three degrees above Celsius, uh, above zero, and you'll be just perfect, okay? Uh, so you could put it in your fridge. If you're gonna put it in your fridge and it's hard to hang, if you get yourself a, a screen, uh, a drip pad so the air can circulate through it okay and just put set that onto a, a mesh screen or or uh, any of those rails in that and that's it just so it circulates and you could do it in your fridge all right I'm gonna do it in my garage I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and, and, and you can see how simple and easy it is to make the pancetta this is pancetta dessa please check out my other video on how to make la pancetta arrotolata which is the rolled one and uh, that you'll see that up on the on the credits at the end okay so hope to see you guys again soon and thank you for coming and we'll see you on the next one thanks okay there they are hanging nicely That's my prosciutto there. And my pancetta.